Last episode, I forgot to show you like the best 11 player of the season, all that kind of stuff. So let's let's do that. And there's there's one minor. Someone may point it out in the comp. My, I just, you know, I was I wasn't trying to bury the idea that something had happened, but I get. Oh. All right, my friends, welcome back in. It's episode 107. We, we also have an international game today. We got a lot to do. It It's going to be one of those. Um, all right. So, <clears throat> overall best 11. Harry White with a Y joins in the starting 11 of the best 11. 119 appearances, 26 goals with an average rating of 7.17. Legend. Jordan Davies is our starting left back. Dejed, bless you. Spence is on the right. And Daniel Thompson is on the left wing. All four joining the starting best 11. We also have Boston at the back, Erich. No one has this place. Captain slash vice captain Jack, which is just impressive to me. Nor Zach O'Neill or Brandon on the right, which is kind of surprising to me. It's with Waterford these days. I mean, I mean, that's honestly, I'm not saying, I'm just saying that's pretty sad. He had 31 appearances for us, two goals and four assists out of whatever the average rating is there. If you average them together and that's your best right winger ever. It's a low bar. I'm just saying. Wilkinson, Gary Hayes Ward up top. Um, we also have Josh Collins still with us. Dylan mcglid has gone. Marty Waters is on our scouting staff. Connor Lang, Shane Costello, Lucas Klutz, all those good folks. All right. So we have lots of guesses in terms of best player and all that kind of stuff. So here we go. Gary Hayes Ward, 74%, my friends. Un like, that is like sweeping the awards for the fans. Kind of surprised, not going to lie. Wilkinson with 10%, Harry White with 9%, yet Mallow <laughs> Elaine is our second starting striker. So I, maybe it's because he's not technically ours. He's going to be. But... I'm just amazed that Gary Hayes Ward gets 74%. Wilkinson gets 10%, even though he's not he's not in in the, the team of the season. Harry White getting the third place vote, holding down the center of the midfield. Um Thorgator Erickson signing of the season. Gary Hayes Ward. I'm just I'm not saying he was bad. I'm just surprised. Right? 21 and 6. I mean, anytime you break 20 goals, but Wilkinson, it's like, hey man, I had three more goals and three less assists. Like it kind of evens out, doesn't it? But apparently not. Um, and then again, Mallow was 17 and 5. I just was, you know, I was kind of impressed. Hayes Ward on the 736. Now, maybe that had something to Wilkins is down here on a 703. Maybe that had something to do with it, right? Like, um, he started off strong and then had a dip and, and whatever, right? Thor Gear Erickson on a 725. I know it was only eight only, 18 starts and nine subs. That's a pretty good for a 19 year old. Pretty impressive. The Jed Spence on a 724. Obviously, ratings quite good my friends um so yeah uh, let's hop forward now back to present times all right here we go i and i forgot to i think mention yesterday we got a new patron on the channel martin french i think i told him i was gonna put it on the uh experiment video and i didn't sorry martin thanks for joining the patronage thanks to all of you that are supporting me on patreon it's unfreaking believable unbelievable the goal for the end of april is 55 we are currently at 54 my friends i'm just saying issuing a challenge um right so there's stuff i'm just delaying what we have to talk about so i forgot that when um oh it's not mm, it's not even showing it it doesn't show these folks we had to cut zach on I I know, but he just wasn't. I mean, he's not. He was. He, he just didn't improve. He didn't improve. And you're like, well, you're getting training facilities. I think it was a little late. It was a the board. I'm gonna blame the board. It was a little, too little, too late, for Zach O'Neill and his four concentration. And I'm I I was gutted. Like when it when I when I had to do it, I was gutted. We took a long walk. On the on the shore, I don't know. There's a shore nearby. Uh, 
I, 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 it hurts. It hurts. We also cut Bernard, Harvey Gilmore on the left. Um, Halifax Town picked him up, which is interesting. National League, so he's he's gone back home, I guess, because he's English. He's making 1.2k a week. That turns out to be a great move for him. To be honest with you, like he's probably he's probably thrilled. We loaned him out. He got eight eight appearances, and then he picks up a contract making significantly more than what we were paying him. Had a yink it goes. No one's picked him up yet. That one hurt. I, I was I was on the fence, but you know I I've heard consistently you carry too many players. I I hear you in the comments, so this is all your fault. Scott Kelly went second on the out. Marco Nag picked up by Bohemian, which is a bit interesting. So we're gonna see him. I was torn because it's physicals, but like he's not gonna replace uh, Daniel Thompson. And if Daniel gets hurt, it's not like we we're not. We're not stuck in a formation where we have to have left wingers. Dave Lawless was a decent prospect, but not good enough. Anthony O'Sullivan, not good enough, even though he's a left back and we seem to not be able to produce left backs in Ireland. So I thought about keeping him just for that, right? To like see if we could help develop that. And Brandon Foley, who was a goalkeeper. So that's where we're at, my friends. From a schedule standpoint, uh, oh, when did you last see us? Did you? Did you see us play St. Paul's? We no, you didn't. We we smashed St. Paul's R10, which is a real club. Apparently, I discovered that we had some people. I, I it makes me feel better as a, as a content creator when I say people in Ireland. Have you heard of this? And multiple people go like, I live in Ireland or I live in Dublin, and I've never heard of it. I've heard of our 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 Tain, but I've never heard of St. Paul's R10 or whatever it's called. It's a real thing. Their website. I I know. The concept of a, a football club is different outside of the U.S. This is more of like a community club. So, like, their the image on their website is like people doing yoga, and I'm like, what? But it's this exact same logo, so it must be the same place. And it was called the exact same thing. So, um, yeah, we smashed them, and I tried to rotate. Right, we played Boss at the back, Thompson, DeJed Spence, Walsh, Doyle. Like, it this was, and look at the, it was unbelievable. Which makes sense, right? If you had the the team, I, maybe I should have played our under 19s, but I was trying to get some some game time in for our folks that play on the bench, right? Um, if the team that has won the league multiple years, right, and has made the Champions League slash Europa League, Europa League run, played an amateur squad, you'd expect the smashing. So we tried to go easy on them. I guess I should have played more. I, I I didn't know what to expect, so I should have played more under 19s, but it was. Uh, yeah, it was aggressive. Um, right. <laughs> you can see the rest of the results here. Nothing too outstanding. We got a penalty in the second minute, which was kind of hilarious on this one. Um, Malo Lane, Adrich getting a goal, kind of smashed. I was a little nervous about this. This is when they were top of the table, and we came in and just, like, set the record straight. Gary Hayes Ward and Harry White picking up lots of yellows. Um I think I'd already shown that to you. I'm about to sneeze, my friends. I apologize. I'll try and mute here in just a second. There it is. Got rid of it. Here we go. Um, so that's what's going on there. No other... I don't. Was there any other transfer things to tell you about? No. No. I think we'd loaned out Thorgy Erickson at the time. If we hadn't, we've loaned him out. Congratulations. Um, Sean Flynn is on under 21 international duty until the 24th so he can't I, i'm a little concerned that daniel thompson didn't get that call and i'm wondering like is it because he'll turn 22 this year i can't remember how the rules work but do i need to start calling him into the senior team that's that is the question my friends um so we really don't have like do i bring darren walsh as a center back we're playing wraith tomorrow in the Iron Brew Cup final. So, like, we've loaned out. I guess it's Charlie Rowan is, is the one we bring. Although, he's just not very good in getting older. I think <laughs> to give him a chance to have any kind of development, we're going to bring Darren Walsh. Um, that's tomorrow. But in the meantime, my friends, now that I've rambled on for a good chunk of time, we have Columbia. So, this is how this works, right? So, like, they, we're playing in Dublin at the Aviva Stadium. And then I hop on a plane and I fly to the neutral site for the Iron Brew Cup. Right? That makes logical sense. From a call-up standpoint, we... Why is it on that? 
have mixed it up, my friends. Okay, what's international selection look like? Yeah, I don't use that. Why would I use that? That doesn't tell you nearly enough. Um, so let's see. Leo Connor and Philip Carroll, because I want to say Wood was injured, or Woods, whatever his name is. So we're looking at getting a potential first cap for Cork City's key player right back. Looks 20 years old. Definitely the kind of player we need to lock down. I know he's only eligible for, I'm just saying, I've had enough players say, ah, I think I'll go represent somebody else. Um, we called Eric Brogel back in for the goalkeeper standpoint. We got Ray Mooney and Reese Staunton, who are both about to get, I think, their first caps here. Um, looks all right. Decent. Decent. He's 24. He has a chance to develop, but he's eligible for Ireland, so that's why he gets a call up. Call up. I said that kind of weird because I wasn't going to say call up or call in, and my brain didn't know what to do. Ray Mooney looks quite good. Quite good. He's he's. He's completed his days, okay? It makes me nervous. I'm not sure why it doesn't. It hasn't changed to being up here that he's eligible. We're going to we're going to use him. So we, we already lost a couple more. That is my biggest concern, right? In terms of building up Ireland, right? We want to build our league and we want to build up who gets in our national team. Well, to get in our national team, you have to not switch to England, which is our biggest problem. So we got Michael Obafemi back. We had all those injuries I showed you last time. That's also necessitated some of this. Ali Girgi, who's our only other right winger of any variety besides um, Michael McGuire. Callum Thompson is back. Um, he's already kind of locked in, right? Right? Yes, he's declared. Fantastic. But, I mean, when you look at the options, right? You got Michael Moore, C Callum O'Hare, Connor, uh, Connor Ronan. Jake Doyle, uh, Doyle Hayes is here. We didn't bring Jeff Hendrick, which is a little sad Michael Moore doesn't have a cap yet and looks to be I mean it's interesting right the potential ability doesn't say it doesn't look like much but and, he, and he's not eligible yet we essentially have two years to get him eligible but we had a bunch of injuries and it's like you know what I just want to this is the time right like I literally do not care what happens with Columbia or Liechtenstein Columbia is probably going to beat us they're 26th I think in the world 27th at this point Liechtenstein is 200 plus so we're gonna put out the best team we can against Columbia. We're playing at home. We want to please our home fans. We are playing this weird thing. It's kind of like the 4231 or the 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 4321 we have been playing except we've dropped the attacking midfielder back here. We don't really have anybody that's really good at playing DM and Doyle Hayes isn't amazing as a central midfielder in terms of knowledge, but he has one of the better tackling and I'm going to tell him like it's okay if you do some risky passes because you know, you're good at it. Um, you can dribble and you can shoot. So I'm going to just, I just want, if you happen to, no, no, no. Uh, I guess I won't tell him anything else. But, you know, if you happen to be in the position, do something. So Thompson playing a little more deep. We are going to play counterattack because they are, you know, better than us. This I thought was quite interesting. I added this or just started showing up. I can't remember. Tactical familiarity. So apparently Ryan Cassidy, I don't know where he's being used. Can I find that out on the form? Oh, yes. Yes, for Watford. Okay, so this is what I understand. He, striker. It doesn't say what role, which is really not of much use for me, but we got him in a striker role, and he doesn't he doesn't know it at all. Like, position role duty, awkward. Now, I can understand the pressing intensity. If we have more urgent, maybe Watford, they aren't playing with that. Maybe the marking isn't... We don't have... Maybe he's used to more direct marking, but like the fact that he doesn't know the advanced for like what's he been playing like a deep deep lying forward. I've I've played around with this and I can't find anything that fits, which is confusing. So maybe it's the shape that we're using. He's like, what is that shape? I don't know. So this is essentially like a four four two, right? You got Michael Duffy cutting in on the wing as an inside forward. You got Cassidy kind of leading the line. Maybe he's drawing those center backs, and then Ducky, Duffy can come in behind him. We're just—I didn't want to park the bus. I wanted to give us some chance at counterattacking, but we are going to leave Leo Connor on defend. Shane Duffy is still here, and then hopefully we can get some movement on the right, distribute it quickly. McGuire, yada yada yada. That's that's. We'll play obviously different against. We'll play the four two three one against Lichtenstein because I do want to have like a style of play. 
I think that's important, right? Like that's something we I raged about against the United States is, you know, we don't have a style of play. We just kind of throw stuff together. And Dave Sarakin as the interim coach for an entire year when we could have been setting up a style of play, you know, frustration. Um, but I think you also have to be wise and go, hmm, we're playing somebody significantly better than us. It is a friendly, so we'll just see how it goes. A demo's not apparently played enough, so we'll get him some game time. Enjoy. We had some play. I love when it it, it um says that they've been allowed to come in um late like because of, of team commitments and i'm like i didn't allow that <laughs> no one asked me um yeah let's go yeah no i still no reactions whatsoever uh the sound is currently off we're not gonna do um extended highlights like we get enough highlights on key highlights usually with the uh international games i want to show you the, the iron brew cup final because that's an opportunity to get some silverware so let's let's nick a goal here and then then we'll park the bus cassidy duffy maybe it's a bunch of youngsters playing for columbia i'm just saying i don't know um and then i haven't set up any of the other friendlies in the future because the uefa nations league um draw is like april 28th so that's in a month month's time o'neill it deflects off Romero? That was a weird... Yeah, it had to be a deflection. It's highlighting because the ball deflected awkwardly. Um, Kind of sad that that's not a goal, you know, for the player. But would that have been a, his... Yeah, that was definitely going wide. Would that have been his, uh, you know, first international goal? It doesn't matter. It wouldn't have gone in. So, But we'll take it. We're 1-0 we're up, my friends. Um... But I want to wait until the Nations League, going back to what I was saying, random, um, till that schedule is set so that I don't have the thing where we're booking three games into one window. I don't, I think that's kind of breaking the rules a little bit. I could be wrong, but I don't want to exhaust our players on international duty either. I don't know. I'm, I'm a little torn, to be honest with you. I'll, I'm willing to listen to arguments in the comments. Thompson, play it. Oh, he had the run. He made a great run. And then instead, we're just going to chuck it forward. O'Neal flicks down. Doyle Hayes. O'Neal. Duffy cuts in. Whoa, puts a little curve on the ball, but not enough. All right, my friends. Not going well here on the left side of the... Okay, that was kind of fast. All right. I love that Roy Keane is our, is our assistant. Don't get complacent. You've got what it takes. I'm not going to yell at anybody during a friendly. I'm not. I mean, unless it was just horrific. Unless we have the double red card incident, and then I'm going to yell at the referee. We've had seven shots. They've had three. Now, it's only two on target to one, and then that is all over the park. What is the keeper doing? Woof. What are your thoughts? This is a conversation being had in the U.S. right now in terms of starting goalkeeper. What if your goalkeeper isn't playing? but is significantly better than the backup keeper who is playing, right? So in our case, I, I don't think, uh, hold on, hold on. Martin O'Neill has been quite error prone. He does have a goal, y'all. I'm just saying, or well, he technically doesn't have a goal, but um, we'll take a look. Bazunu, if I'm good about, um, I want to say still with Manchester City, but is the backup and isn't playing and they haven't loaned him out. But he's better than everybody else. So even if the other ones are playing an inform, do you play the inform keeper or the one that's better? What are your thoughts? Does it matter how much better they are from like a in? Just think about it in football manager, not necessarily the U.S. Men's National Team. Does it matter to you how much better they are? Dola Hayes could do a box to box. Um. What what what, what is this? Why are you? Why is your morale poor? Mate, what is your problem? I just want to know. I want to know. Who do we trust most from this? Okay, that's the center back. So not that. Reese Taunton is a center back. Callum O'Hare has already played. I guess that's how we do it, but we'll do this. Maybe? And... Br Yeah, you can do a box to box. Yeah, isn't it great when we're trying to figure out who these who these guys are? 
So remind me of that somehow. You're gonna you're mentally gonna come back into the past when I'm recording this, and you're gonna remind me to take a look at the stats of our keepers in terms of who's playing from a form standpoint. There's also the like if he's not playing, put him in the shop window as if he has like some incredible save or something like that, help him get a contract somewhere else. Encourage the this is not this is not good. They're just they're just coming right at us. They're just coming right at us. You could just tell that's what was going to happen, couldn't you? Mm, comes on full fitness. We're gonna yell, demand more, see if we. Need, oh, we got a reaction. Hey, all right, all right. Uh, you're not playing well, so Kevin O'Connor's gonna come in. You're not playing well, so we're gonna let. Neil O'Donovan have a crack at it. O'Donovan. And then, because this is a friendly and we can make multiple substitutions, we're going to take Michael Duffy off and bring on, bring on Obafemi. Because that's what we're going to do. Yeah? Come on, boys. Oh, it doesn't... Here I am talking about locking people into caps, aren't I? Oh, delete your comments. Okay, they've gone 4 3 1 2. This is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do, huh? Huh? I'll see your 4 3 1 2, and I'll play counterattacking to the wings. That's what I think. Okay, that wasn't funny. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Keeper was there. Just didn't make the save. it. Again, here I am talking about... I, one day, you will watch a video where I will actually understand how caps work. But maybe, maybe the fact that they're getting call-ups and appearances, maybe that endears them a little bit towards us. Maybe. Uh, a draw would have left it not really impacting our rankings. A loss is probably going to impact our rankings. Daggummit. <laughs> and I thought I was capping people when I could. But I still would have called them in. I literally still would have called them in. Um, in hopes of keeping them you know, with the warm fuzzies towards us. And now we're hopping on a plane. <sighs> the mood within the Ireland camp has deteriorated. That's not good. Okay, let's hop forward. That's good for a player on loan. Tom Caffrey. Yes. So stuff like this, right? You're like, okay, it may be, you know... Is winning his first cap. Now, it doesn't, doesn't mount to a hill of beans, but but maybe the fact that he got his first cap with us will, will lead him to, you know, hanging on long enough so we can get him in a Nations League game. I mean, it's the reality. Of what we're That's what we're really hoping to do. Um, where is this? I'm just kind of curious. Uh, right. Location. Global Energy Stadium in Dingwall. Ross County's stadium, my friends. I'm sure some of you, as soon as I said Global Energy Stadium Dingwall, you knew what that was. This is how we line up today. Because we do want silverware. We have Elaine, Hayesward, Gleason, White with a Y, White with an I, Galbraith, Davies, Cadru. O'Connor, Erich, and Janadu. This is how we're going. Witty and Thompson on the bench to be our impact subs to change the formation if we need to go like 4-2-3-1. I did have a question from Jeremy Vesey asking about the Angonch role, and I've changed it to a Trecarista. So the Trecarista um, can attack in the attacking midfield or the center forward positions. Similar to an advanced playmaker, aims to drop into the holes between the opposition's midfield and defense, but does far less defensively. Simply drifts around looking for space when the team is not in possession. 
The team needs to carry him when defending. I don't, I don't care about that. I want him to be more attacking versus the on gauche is the side's prime creator. So that doesn't really work with a roaming playmaker. Um, a hook that joins midfield and attack and operates behind the strikers and a playmaker who sticks to his position and becomes a pivot to his team as they move around him. Unlike the Trecorista, it is more of a stationary role, so it kind of like just is the pivot, right? Um, as the Angonch acts as the focal point instead of moving around into large area space. So he kind of roams in this role. Um, it's not gone outstanding, right? Like thus far he's on a 6.9, but it's not gone terrible, and it kind of uses his good attributes... I don't know. Maybe I think too much about using people's good attributes, but I want to try and maximize those things. But this is how we go, my friends. I can't believe I forgot about the cap thing. But again, he was happy that we used him, so maybe that's, you know, that's worth something. We've been on a good run. Go impress me by winning. And again, this gets messed up. I don't know why. I don't know what drives me absolutely insane, actually, to be completely transparent with you. And everyone else is motivated, so we're going to leave it. Yeah, Graham Ritchie. Yeah, let's, uh, yeah, that's a shame. That's one of the things if I could eliminate something from Football Engine. I get, like, you you should theoretically understand your opposition and have, like, if you were a real-life football manager, you would know who was missing and who was dangerous and whatever, but, you know, come on. I'm not doing that research. We're playing positive. We're not, I, we probably should play, like, a counter, I think, but I, I'm not sure the... The difference in ooh, okay, that's not a not a yellow. Went through the back of I guess maybe played advantage. Okay, we're just we're gonna play dirty lads. Um, I would think that they're better than us, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong about the. I haven't looked at the leagues, the reputation of the or the rankings of the leagues. So either way, we're not gonna all of a sudden play counter. That was a woodwork, wasn't it? That was a woodwork. For shame, but it, that was that was a nice little build up. I think you could argue. We are definitely conceding the wide spaces, but you would hope they've got three in the middle. We've got four. Come on, boys. Oh, I can't believe it. The woodwork. That looks like one of those highlights where it's like, okay, here we go. Here we go. As you can see, our focus of our attacks, nothing on the left. That's kind of interesting. So we're attacking them in the middle and on the right. I mean, it's only 10 minutes in. Galbraith picks up a yellow. Hey, son. Hey, how you doing? Ease off your tackles. Thank you very much. Ooh, the guy is unsure. The DCR. Yes. Yes, David McKay. Crack him, my friends. Let's go. Oh, click. I, why is that? Do you do that? If you're about to give a shout and then it goes to a highlight, do you just instinctively click? I feel, I feel like I do that way too much. Where I'm like, I should just wait. And instead, I don't. Hopefully they don't... Well. It'd be, it'd be okay if we scored and I still said demand more, I guess. We don't want it to be... It works out okay if they score, but we don't want that, obviously. Okay. Gleason comes back. Alright, helping out on defense. That's a little bar, ball too far. But we're closing down. Okay. Well, not panicked, but a good clearance. Just get it away. It wasn't to anybody. White collects. The highlight continues. Davies. White, what's he got? He's got he's got the runner. Oh, the wing back. The wing back. There you go. Mallow. Davies had to wait for it. It was kind of a weak pass. Tries to get around his man. Jukes it in. It falls. Gleason is there to clean it up. Gary Gleason, second goal of the season. Apparently, that accounts as an assist by Gary Hayesward. I think that's a little... We'll watch it again, but I think that's a little generous. Let's see, Davies. No, that's not an assist. He tried to head it and he bounced it off the defender because he was trying to shoot on, on the goal. <laughs> but whatever, I guess. You know, pressured by the feedback. Now, we've scored and I've demanded more. So this is what you're worried about. It's like They're like, we just scored. Why are you demanding more? It's like, I want more scoring, maybe? But that's hilarious. Give him the assist. Hilarious. I don't know. I just find that... I don't know. I'm just amused by that. He's like, I, yeah, I meant to do that. I meant to play it off the defender for the assist. Yep, that's exactly what happened. Get him. Get him, Gary. His ward. Do clubs actually mow their grass in big circles? Maybe they do. I'm used to seeing more of, like, the just the lines. Okay, that was... Mm, 
Would have liked that to not go there because now he's pulled way out of position. Our center back has to come over and the oh! Frank just calmly plays it. And, and he, I, I imagine, this is how I, in, in my head, how I imagine Frank Erich is. He is Virgil van Dyke of our team. So he just calmly play. Oh! John way messed up on that one. He just, he plays it out calmly and then looks at the guys and like starts yelling in German. Like he doesn't even bother using English. He just starts yelling in German to like get the point really across. He's tall. Like, what kind of a song would the fans sing about Frank the Tank? That was a clearance and it was deflected off of our own man. That was good. Yes, fantastic. Mallow, you're on a 6.5. Come on, mate. White. Oh, keeping it to it. Hikari Hayes Ward is just going to stand on the ball. Yep, because that's what you do, right? You just stand on the ball with four opposition players in front of you. You wouldn't know what to do. You wouldn't know to pass that to somebody. You'd just go like, oh, I don't know what to do. Bitter, he says. I am going to bring Alain off, and I'm going to bring on uh, Witty on the right to help out our right wingback, who is on a 6.3. Goodness. Give him some support. Okay. That's going to give us one less attacking option. Should we play him as a complete forward? <laughs> I think he can hold the ball up and then we'll see what happens. I am going to put him on attack. But maybe we'll, we'll get a little bit more support back here because it looks like he's getting run over. Uh, I know things are going well, but you're capable of playing even better. Hey, you don't get sent off. Because then we probably won't win the trophy. Why is it always Hey Jude? Because it's Hey something, I guess. Is there any other song I could use? Perhaps. I'm open to it in the comments, but I probably won't know the song because I listen to podcasts, not music these days. Woody, with all his pace, drives forward. Is Woody the new uh, Maguire? Is that... I think the match engine was trying to do something there, but couldn't because I think he just slid way early. But maybe, maybe it happened kind of fast. I'm willing to say it happened kind of fast. So I could be wrong. Uh, so who do we take? I guess we take... Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Hayes Ward, you just be a complete four, man. Good luck with that. Yeah. Um, don't worry. We don't have anybody... Okay. You can play... He's, he's either footed, which is useful in these situations. Because I didn't bring uh, our, our backup left back, who's really quite good. Um, right, lads. And then we're going to do, we're just going to do the old-fashioned direct counterattack. Yep. Yep. We sure are. Yep. Can we hang on for an entire half with a straight red? Thank you, Jordan Davies. I don't care if it was accurate. It's still, you put yourself in that position. Oh, man. Okay, go! Counter! Counter! Galbraith! Find a blue, light blue, or, well, not dark navy blue shirt. Witty, heads it down! Unbelievable response from the lads. Third goal of the season, Witty comes in, gets the assist. That was actually, like, quite nice. The either-footed wingback, uh, that looks like he's right-footed with that. But, you know, it works. Witty plays it down. Into the path of Hayes Ward, who smashes it home. That's got to be so demoralizing, disenchanting, you could say, for the center backs or the all the whole team, really. And then, whoa, whoa, okay. To immediately go down to 10 men and to respond with a goal. I love it. I love it. And that, you know, moving him to the left side, it's got him up to a 6.5. Yeah, yeah, legend. Good good decision by the by the manager there. Yeah. We're still closing down that one guy, even though we don't. Have, we only have ten men. Spence is on the wrong side of the pitch. We've thrown him off. Witty, oh mate, it was a setter. You had space and time to get your forehead pointed in the correct direction. White heads away. Don't. Okay, I thought we were gonna go through the back of somebody. Hickey, get sent off. No. Burn. M Millar. Is it Miller or Millar? It looks like Millar. If it was Miller, there'd be an E. In, that's how my brain works. Oh, deflects, but Erich, of course, clears the danger because he's our Virgil van Dyke. White plays it down. Hayes Ward. Oh, that's a that was an ugly tackle, ref. Come on, Hickey. 
gives it a kiss. Ha, ha, ha. Falls to Cole, plays it out wide. This highlight is all over the park. Gums in. O'Connor's there. Cole. Oh, he went for the, the, the one for the, the, you know, one for the ages for the cameras. Go. Oh. Up the woodwork. Hayes Ward clears the danger. Nice, nice. Okay, it's not going well for the left back. That was our right back. Come on, boys. I'm going to demand more. They're already. Oh, we pressured him. Oh, he's having a mental collapse on the pitch. The. Yeah, don't get sent off. Oh gosh. We only have one sub because I already already made the sub with Witty coming in to help support the. That was a dive. Um, <laughs> to help the right. Wing back, and now he's on the left, and he's all, all by my, and we're, oh, cut out. Keepers all over the place, but, but O'Connor got it in the back post. Janet gets it away, and then doesn't collect. Woo. Look at the spin on that ball. Goodness me. I don't have anybody else that can help out. On, on, I mean, we could take, I guess, a midfielder off, and, but then we don't have enough people in midfield to help. He's just having a day, I guess. He's just having a day. He's going to have to live with it. We could bring on Thompson for Galbraith and, and play like double DMs. Of course, now we picked up a, a yellow on our other DM. That's good. People are tired. That's good. Spence. Cole. Drops. Hickey. Cole. Slide. Yes. Nice job closing that down. I think we are going to go the double DM. Oh, I should have done that. Yeah, tell him to ease off his tackles. Okay. That seems like a good time for a time-wasting sub. So what foot are you? You are right-footed only, sir. Sometimes sometime my right click or my back click doesn't, doesn't work. Yes. Yes, that's what you always wanted to see. He's more of a... This guy's first touch is better. Enjoy that formation for a minute, and off we go. I want to see more of the same from you today in the next six minutes, sir. Sorry, Gary Hayes Ward, you'll get a break, but you're playing really well, and well, we can't really afford to bring on a new striker. We we gotta we gotta protect the back line, Gary. Janadu should have caught that. Punches it away into the middle. Why would you punch it to the middle where all of the players are? Whoa, back post! Frank the Tank clears! Oh, it's nervy, it's nervy, it's nervy, my friends. The 93rd minute with four minutes of extra time. A glimmer of hope for the Wraith faithful. Erich, don't throw it. Okay, fine. I guess he'd waited long enough. I trust that Frank had waited long enough and wasted enough time on that. Oh, lots of space for Spence. He cuts in on his good foot and then tries it with his left foot. They play it out. We'll take it. Don't throw it in. I don't have time wasting on because we're, that doesn't seem to work very well when we do that. So with one half chance for each club, we come away. Oh, that that's that's worth getting your rating up. I think I, I don't like that you threw it back towards our own goal. That maybe it negates, but I like that he was wasting time, even though I hadn't told him to, until he threw it back towards our own goal. In which case, that boost in his rating to a six point five drops it back down to a six point four or whatever he was at. Can't get to it, my friends. We have won the Iron Brew Cup. I have no idea how prestigious that is. The board care about us getting to the third round of it this upcoming season. Everybody dance awkwardly, like the guy in the back right or back left corner. Yeah, well, we're gonna take a tour. <laughs> I know we're not in Ireland. We're in Scotland. We're gonna cheer at all of our fans. I, I who knows how many of our fans showed up. Player of the match on an eight point two, Gary Hayes Ward, of course. Frustrated by the feedback. Enjoy your success, lads. When we travel, my accent changes. I don't know why. Well, hopefully that was an enjoyable episode for you. Besides the media saying we had a collapse against Columbia, which, you know. Apparently this counts as last season, the double, right? Because it's, it's weird. The league's not the same schedule. Um, right. And we get a whopping 33.88k, my friends. Davies is banned for one match for all Scottish domestic competitions. 
uh, was probably justified. Let's maybe we can slow it down. It looked like he just. Oh, that's not useful. Why would? That's what you're gonna show me. I mean, yes, clearly the ball is past the player. It looked like a glitch at the time, but yeah, I guess if you're gonna you're gonna miss that. I, look at the camera. What is the camera doing here? If you're gonna miss that bad, I get I. I Issue a warning. I'm, it's the Iron Brew Cup. Hey, Jordan, it's the Iron Brew Cup, man. It's fine. We're, we're good. We're good. <laughs> so, joining the likes of Queen of the South, Dundee United, Inverness, Dundalk, Shamrock won it in 2021. Uh, okay, so the first, I don't know if if, if or when they, they started. That's interesting. It didn't take place one year. Someone fill me in on that. But the first Irish team to win it, or the second Irish team apparently ever to win it, and the first since, you know, 2020 slash 21. Um, right. And we give them 17k. Fantastic. We're not an overachiever. Apparently, Strand, I mean, okay, League 2 getting as far as they did. I suppose that's fair. The next time you see us, my friends, is going to be at some point in the future. I'm going to play a bunch of games. Um, I'm not going to show you the Liechtenstein game. Like, if we lose that, I mean, what are we supposed to do? But we'll know what the Nations League looks like. If we go back to 2022, Nations League started in June. And that's when, if you come back over to our schedule, um, our Champions League stuff will kick off in July. So we'll be back in June for the Nations League. And I think that's going to be the next episode is Nations League. Right, like we're gonna keep playing what, what we need to do here. It's a bunch of games to miss, um, but that's kind of like what I found last season. Right, is once we got here, things got like episode, 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 episode. So it's not that the first half of the season doesn't matter. It obviously does, but I don't want to have 15 episodes, you know, from this for the second half of the season, including you know international and. Uh, you know, league play and Champions League and all that kind of stuff. That's where the meat of where this is going to be is coming from. So that's what we're going to do. I know that was a bunch of games to miss, but hopefully you understand where I'm coming from. I'm going to go, if I have time, I may not have time to play all those. So I may bring it back a little bit earlier because there's not enough time. So that that's kind of my plan right now. Hopefully you've enjoyed this episode. Hit the like button, pity, pity like for, I mean, liking for the Wraith and the pity liking for the Columbia result. And we'll see you next time. Have a good one. Thanks for watching. No, seriously. Thanks for watching means a lot. There's still like 300 of you watching every episode and you're you're awesome. Thanks. You thought I forgot. I did until I started to close my editing software. So Gavin is on a 74k a week backup contract. Two starts in the Premier League, three subs, so he must have there must have three subs. Who has three subs as a keeper? That's interesting. But obviously he's not playing enough. Right, that's March twenty first. He's not playing enough. So versus Kelleher, who's got thirty nine starts in the championship on a six six four. Right? Do you play the keeper that is playing all the time? That's not really in form. But like, let's say his average rating was better. Would you play him instead when he's two and a half stars versus Gavin is four star? What do you do in those types of situations? Let me know. I remembered. <laughs>